Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to cook some lovely Indian style curry. We are going to use la crisette, which is a beautiful Dutch oven. Great for um, soups, great for slow cooking, great for um, stews and of course great for curry. Here we have our ingredients. We of course have the chicken, we have some onions and some garlic, we have some tomatoes, tomato sauce, our oil is very important, coconut milk essential for a good curry, some salt and of course paprika and we have some pre-made curry powder. I'm also going to cook some basmati rice using a Japanese rice cooker. So, let's begin. Okay, the first thing to do is of course heat up the liquid and keep it on medium heat. Then let's add one tablespoon of oil. Next, let's add a little bit of salt. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter, like so. Just going to glaze the chicken. What we mean by glaze is just give it a nice light brown texture. Yes, that looks nice. Now I'm going to put it back into the tray. So remember, the thing about a Dutch oven is low heat and slow cooking. Okay, I'm just going to chop some onions. Okay, lovely. Okay, so now we have placed the grated garlic and onions into the pot. Let's just heat it up a little bit and I'm going to add another tablespoon of oil. We are now ready to add the curry powder. to make it thick so I'm going to put three teaspoons in. I'm going to add a little bit of paprika. A nice texture there and a little bit of salt. Okay. Now, let's mix. Oh, wow, already you can really see that beautiful, rich curry style coming through. Mm, the smell is fantastic. Okay, now it's time to add some coconut milk. And 
coconut milk really adds to the richness of the curry sauce. Let me add some more. There we go, and the final part here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let me just add these baby tomatoes to our curry. Okay, and I will just gently stir. Oh, wow. Look at that thick curry taste. Look at that texture. That's amazing. I'm just going to add a little bit more paprika to it. So, and just a little bit more curry powder, not a lot, but just a little bit more to give it that, that little bite. Oh, that's fine. Excellent. Now, I'm going to just add a little bit of um, tomato sauce. Here it comes. Oh, a little bit of texture. There we go, lovely. Now, if we look at that colouring, you can see the beautiful brown is turning, turning a little bit reddish, adding to that tomato paste. And there we have a perfect curry. Now we need to add the chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. So let's give it a mix for a few minutes. And I'm going to slightly increase the temperature just to give it a nice brown texture and uh, just to get the heat to evenly go through the meat. curry is quite thick. If you want you can add some water to it to dilute the intensity. However, I like a nice spicy curry. Okay, nothing is sticking, everything looks good. Now I'm going to put it on low heat. And close the, the lid for about 30 minutes. Okay, everyone, I think we're done. Let's have a check. So I just switched off the um, heating. Wow, look at that. Look at the chicken. Beautiful. Let's look at the curry sauce. Beautiful texture. Ah, superb smell. This is what makes a Dutch oven so perfect. You get beautifully, evenly heated food. Wonderful curry smell. The, um, the spices have really blended in to the meat and you have a perfect meal. Okay, now let's 
use a Japanese rice cooker to cook some basmati rice. The first thing you do, of course, is to soak the rice. Usually we'll leave it for about 20 minutes, which is what I've already done. And there's our soaked rice. And now we have to add water. Water is the most important thing for a rice cooker. So, I put one cup of rice in here. The water proportion is one and a half waters. So, let's pour. Now I just need to get a little bit more. And pour it in like so. And then, let's add just a little bit of salt. And there you have it. All ready to go. Let's close it up like this. Push the menu. Put it on normal. And 60 minutes. Let's enjoy. Okay. Now let's check out how basmati rice looks using a Japanese rice cooker. Wow, amazing. Look at that. Perfect basmati rice. Not sticky, not too much water, lovely and fluffy. 60 minutes and you have absolute perfection. I am very, very impressed by this style.